What's up everybody, Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Let's Play series. Uh, we're starting things back off today in uh, the creative mode just for a quick little bit because I wanted to make a couple of modifications to... Okay, so I had two really good suggestions for the name of this ship. And one is the Armadillo, because I think it was said that the front armor being kind of curved like this kind of looked like an Armadillo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I kind of get it. Uh, the other one that I thought was kind of more comical but fun was the battle boat. It just sounded funny. It's like, get in the battle boat kind of thing. So I don't know which one we're going to end up calling it. I like to usually do stuff. I mean, a lot of ships and things are named after different animals and things. You've got, you know, hornets and stuff like that for jets and things like that. The tomcat, the eagle, etc. Falcon. I could go on. So, you know, armadillo works for ships, stuff like that. We've done we've done things similar to that before. I don't know what is going on over there. There's been some, these uh, these turrets apparently are going nuts about that ship over there, but it doesn't matter because it's creative mode at the moment. Um, I'm not going to use this world file to keep uh, to keep this. Um, but one of the things that was suggested about the armadillo battle boat. Um, was some of the placement of the thrusters in that I could um, I could put all of these as the reverse direction and I'd probably end up removing that one I guess uh, because it's not really necessary though I guess we could leave it it doesn't really matter um, but the other suggestion was to put three to four I can't remember which of the um, forward basically over top of this area here and then kind of put a armor plating over that which i do kind of like the idea of so we're probably going to play around with that just for a moment and see if we like it Oop, wrong button apparently so let me go ahead and tinker with this and uh we'll see what we come up with Okay, so I think I'm going to dub this the Mark 1 and kind of be done with it. And then if we want to make any changes in the future, we can make a Mark 2 or something like that. So basically, I modified this and swapped the top one out for a reverse and then cut out two sections for the block damage and then just filled in the back here. Um, I decided to leave these extra ones. I have one here and I've got these two down here. I just decided to leave them because I figured they're kind of out of the way and just gives extra um, reverse and forward thrust, so why not? Um, up here, though, I added this section and once again, kind of like what happened on the side pods, I couldn't really get... I liked the longer angle of this and it kept the half block so that it kept it a bit more shallow. Uh, but I couldn't get it to kind of line up with this. What I really would like to see them add is a half block um, that's inverted. So from here, if I flip it, then it goes against the angle. But if it's here, it's way out. I'd actually like it if they did one that was like out on this edge or basically where this one would be. But I can't find a way to do that. Um, so I'd like one that kind of merges with the, the regular but alas, I digress. Um, and then I decided to run this out and kind of cover this. I'm not too sure about this, but it did conceal or protect the, uh, the larger thrusters a little bit. And I figured, eh, we'll leave it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I think I'm going to leave it as for the Mark 1. So what I'm going to do is go in and kind of make groups and rename things and all that kind of stuff, set up the hot bar, and then I'm going to make this a blueprint. And then we'll probably switch back over to survival and work on both building this somehow. And um, I have an idea for breaking down that ship, which has seen better days. Um, in our survival, though, that hasn't happened yet, so hopefully it won't, because it also looks like it took a hit into the base to do that, which is not good, and I don't know why it keeps doing that. But, um, anywho. So, let me finish this up, and then we'll switch back over to the survival mode. Alrighty, so here we are back in our survival world. 
and I think I finished the design mostly well no I did finish the design you guys saw that but I went through and upgraded the uh, hot bar and grouped everything and stuff like that so it should be a little bit easier to fly I really try and make sure I do that before I make it into a blueprint uh, so that anytime you paste it in the hot bars and control stuff is already kind of set up um, now there is one other thing that I'm going to try and work on today before we get into this uh, because partially I want to break some of this back down um, and I'm going to actually you know what let me just go ahead and I know I have a landing gear in here somewhere really no landing gear how do I always miss stuff whatever I need it's whatever I don't have um, where do I want to build it I want to make it a little bit closer to the drone over here, I think, um, just in case I need to get different stuff, because I'd like to, I'm, I'm basically setting up where I'm going to build the fighter, and right now it's a little bit uh, farther away than I would like. Why can I not uh, change the color? Oh, there we go, that was weird. Alright, so I'll just place that there, and that will be, let's see, um, let's actually do, I don't want to go too high, but let's do like a three block head start, and then let's do a projector, and I guess we'll have to do a little bit like small reactor or something just to get it going. Um, actually, I guess I don't really need to build those. I need to build this guy. Uh, but all this we can do in a minute. What I'd actually like to do is upgrade our grinder drone um, to... Well, I have to make sure I need to upgrade it actually. Do I have... Okay, I have a remote block that's facing the right direction currently. Um, I want to rename a couple of things in here. We have the drone PB. Now just for the heck of it, I'm going to mark this as PAM. I don't think I need to, but I'm going to. And the reason being, I have found what I will probably end up saying is my favorite, one of my new favorite scripts. Turns out I actually had it in my list already, um, but it was recommended to me through the comments. And it's called Path Auto Mine, or PAM, uh, Autonomous Mining and Grinding Script by Kex. Um, I, I downloaded it, or I, I saved it a while ago, apparently. I was actually thinking of using the pathfinding for Dog Squad stuff, forgot all about it, um, and then it was recommended to me in the comments of one of my uh, recent episodes. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that would be perfect for this. But I didn't realize it would actually work for grinding. I thought it was only for drilling. Um, so I kind of was like, eh. But then I, re I reread the full title and realized that, well, and it may have been updated. I don't know. Because um, it looks like the last update was December 17th. So it, of, of <clears throat> last year. That's going to be weird. That's going to take some time. Um, so yeah. So we're going to go ahead and paste this in here. Now, there are a couple things that I have to do to make this work. And I I hope I hope that I get it correct on the relative first go. Um, now, one thing that I'm going to need is a sensor. It's not a hun apparently it's not 100% required, uh, but from all the video tutorial things that I watched on it, it seems pretty darn required to me because uh, otherwise I don't know how this would work so oh my this actually requires a good amount of parts radio and detector okay radio 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 let's just do a couple and detector do I have any there there's some detectors perfect okay now, um, I may have to reference the video stuff again just to uh, make sure I'm doing it correctly because if my memory serves, the 
Oh, I also need an LCD screen. Well, I don't need, but it'll make things so, so, so much easier. So, what I'm going to try and do is... Can I do this with half blocks, maybe? I'm trying to figure out how the easiest way to do this would be. Because um, I wanted to do, like, a half slope, like this. But... Wonder, could I do maybe like this? I think that'll work. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, that goes there. Okay. Now, because, well, actually, hold on. I don't need to do these. I'll just do... I'd like to keep the profile down a little bit. So... Let's just do like that. That'll work. Wow, that actually... Those half blocks actually take a good amount of time to fully build in. That's weird. Okay. Um, now, I don't know that I needed that. I might have been able to attach it to the conveyor. But, you know... Um, LCD panel. I think I need a full... Maybe not. Oh, a text panel. That's what I'm looking for. I guess. Wait. LCD wide. Wait, why can't I attach that to anything? Well, that's crap. Um, so it won't attach to a half block. Poo. Alright, let me fix this. Hold on, give me a minute. Okay, so I think I've got everything pretty much down pat. So, uh, the basics are you need the programmable... Well, I don't think you need the programmable block to be tagged as this, but oh well. LCD screen, remote control, and a sensor. All these need to be tagged with PAM, as far as I can tell. Um, if you have them, some of the blocks aren't needed. I, From the video, though, it seems like they work the best. I put the screen down here. Now it says to enable the show text on screen, but I think that's enabled by default now. Um, somewhere, font, public, where'd it go? There's an option for it somewhere. Uh, either that or I'm using a different kind of screen because it's a text panel, maybe it's different. Um, then the next step is the one thing you also need to make sure of is I happen to do it all already, which I've seen before, is the remote block is facing the same orientation as the ship so that it's pointing forward and up is the same direction as up and all that. Sensor needs to be kind of facing the same way. It doesn't matter where it is and it can be on the bottom, but it still has to kind of face the right proper directions. Um, and then the LCD screen is optional, but I prefer it because it makes things a whole lot easier. Then what I, what you do is you go in and you add the programmable block. And when you drag it here, there needs to be three commands. So you click run and then you hit apply or type apply. Um, oops. You go like this, run. And then I like up to be first and then down just because it makes sense to me down and this will essentially let you navigate the screen now it is a little hard to read for some reason I don't know exactly why maybe it's because it's a different kind of panel or something um, and then when you hit apply it'll bring up different things and again kind of difficult to read but the um, I wonder if it's the screen there, or coming through the cockpit, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but the, basically, you've got record path, set up grinding job, or record path and set home, continue, fly to job, fly to home, behavior settings, info, etc. So there's a few basic things, but the, the gist of it is when it's docked, you will tell it to record the path, you'll fly over where you want, and then tell it to basically set the path. And then you set up the job requirements, which is sensors and, and width and all that. Now, the only caveat here is there's two things that I need to fix about the base. Um, the first is down in 
here. I might need to cut a little bit of a path here. Oops. That block, what are you doing? I'm facing this over here. Okay. I don't actually know if this will work in this way. I might have to get a little creative here. Okay, this is a slope. I gotta remember that's a slope. Uh, but the gist of it is you need a... Um, crap, what are they called? Uh, sorter? Maybe? Small conveyor sorter? I think. I think it's a sorter. I don't think there's any other ones, is there? You have sorters, conveyor sorter, small conveyor. Yeah, I think it's a sorter. And you have to have it set to face down and drain all, and it'll essentially pull everything from the connector. So I'm going to have to get a little creative here in getting this part set up, but I'll do that real quick while it's dark, and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, so I think I've got it squared away now. We've got the extractor down here. I had to do some creative finagling with the, uh, the, um, yeah, those things. The conveyors. That's what I was looking for. Um, now this does pose a little bit of a problem, I believe, in that if this is docked here, I'm pretty sure there's no way to get items up to it with that extra, or with that sorter down there that's draining everything. Um, so, I mean, I could disable that at some point, like turn this off, but it's still only allowing it to go one way. So I don't know, I don't work with sorters very much, but I'm pretty sure that means this is essentially an extraction point and this would have to be our input if we were loading something onto a ship. Not 100% sure on that, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. So, with all of that set up, I believe we're able to do a test run. Now there's one last thing that I just remembered we need to do and I hope I can do it with this ship in the condition that it's in. So one way or another you have to actually fix the grid that you're going to work on. Now if this had been just on a landing gear maybe this would work but the way that it's sitting it's in a really weird uh, abnormal place, right? So yeah, I don't uh I don't actually know if I even have the thrusters working enough to... I don't, apparently. So, it sounds silly, but I may actually end up having to repair the vertical thrusters just to get it going. Okay, I need motor... Wow, I need a lot of motors for that. Holy crap. And how about this one? Are you still... How did you get busted up over here? Jeez, I need so many, so many motors. Um, were there any other vertical? I really just need verticals. We've got a couple. I can probably kind of just glide it over with gyroscopes. Um, so the big thing is vertical thrusters. I really need to get those fixed. Um, let's see. Oops. So, loot is probably going to be the new word of the day. Wow, I apparently had a ton of scrap metal. Okay, what did I say? Motors. Let's get a bunch of these. Wow, I can't even carry them all in one trip. That's so, so bad. Um, I don't, I don't remember what else I needed. Actually, if I can probably get one going, that would probably be enough, in all honesty. Because I really just need to fly it over and park it. Kind of thing. So... I guess I didn't need any of those. Um, I hope that's enough. Yay, it's enough. I mean, we're going to get all the parts back anyway. Or I think we will anyway. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Alright, let's see. So, Alright, I got enough to lift 
off. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know the ship's fuel's low because there's hardly any fuel there. Ship fuel low. All right, and I want to get it a little bit of a decent way away. Ship fuel low. Uh, but the biggest thing with this grinding process, ship fuel low. the biggest thing with this grinding process is that the um, the grid you're working on has to be fixed. Um, and I don't mean at repaired. I mean it can't go anywhere. Actually, what I should probably do is... Are one of these... Are these fully done? I'm gonna borrow this. And hope this doesn't crash the Sky Factory. One of the few times that I'm really glad that Space Engineers isn't super physically accurate that uh, you don't need a landing gear holding up both sides. I tend to build my ships that way anyway, just because it looks really odd if you don't. Alright, tell me I can get enough lift. Okay. I hope that's high enough. I think it will be. Because I really just need to snap a landing gear on like this. So that I can mount it. Uh, because what I want to do is keep it a little bit above the ground so that the grinder drone doesn't have as much of an issue. Um, the other thing is the easiest way, according to the description of the script, is to make it a station, like convert it to station. So that's what I think we're gonna do. So it's locked in now. It's, it's floating. So if we go into info, we can convert to station. So now it won't go anywhere. I believe even if we break it, it still won't. It might fall because of gravity. I'm not really sure. So with that, let's give this a test run. Now, I don't know about power. If it runs out of power, I'm not sure how this script handles that, but we're going to find out. So uh, thrusters are on. The gyroscopes are on. Let's turn the recharge off. Okay. Let's see, what else do we need? Everything else looks fine. The connector will turn off in a second. Okay, so we go up to record in a path and set home. Okay. Now from here we're going to unlock and turn off our um, wait, why can't... Oh, my gyroscope was off. I thought it was on. Okay. So now we're going to fly over here. Right? And as you can see, it's recording the space and stuff like that, as far as how far we're going and whatnot. I guess I'm drifting more than I wanted to. Okay, so let's come over here. And... Somewhere about in here. That should be good. So now we'll switch back over to this tab if I can find it. Stop path recording. Go down. Set up a grinding job. Okay, now this part, you do need the um, show sensor field range turned on. And with this now we can use the up and down commands and the apply commands to widen and increase the height which we want to do. Oh, let's do one more. Okay. Now as for the width, let's see, up. So we we'll want to increase the width so it encompasses the whole ship, which I think that does. Eh, let's give it one more. And then the other thing, <coughs> excuse me, the other thing is the depth. Depth increase. And we want that to make sure we're covering the whole thing. Now, with that set, we can go back up to the top, start new job. And as you can see, I hope the tree doesn't get in the way. And it goes through a path, like that's not 100% efficient because of how far away I said it. What is it doing? Okay. Maybe it's a power thing? Maybe it's full? 
I'm not quite sure. But it'll fly its way back, essentially. Job active, ready to dock. I don't really know where it's going. I guess it's going back to the landing pad. But it's pretty cool that it's like doing it all on its own, and I hope it doesn't run into anything. It's gonna run into that. Ooh! Ooh -hoo -hoo. It may be a power issue. I'm not sure. And then it should dock. Okay. Now on job active, ready to dock. Load. Wait for uranium. Oh, it's running off of um I guess it's I guess it's set to run off. What is it flipping back and forth for? Uranium battery. Okay, so I guess it's set to only run off of um Yeah. Stuff and things. Okay, those aren't the drone these are wait, I have I have uranium in these. How much more uranium does it need? Um Do I have more uranium? I guess I don't. Well, that could be a problem. Let's see if we can manage to adjust this behavior. Oh, okay, so max load, weight limit on, ejection off, uranium min, battery min. Okay, so we need to ignore. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so charge battery. <laughs> okay, um, how much battery do, do I have? I figured I would have had enough. Oh, they're only at 20%? No, that's not right. Here we go. Recharge. These say they're maxed. Hold up. What is it saying now? Uranium point something. 97. Min 20. Alright, so maybe we just need to reset it. So let's stop. And then you can also continue. Charge batteries. I'm confused as to why it's... Huh. I'm confused as to why it's not letting me go anywhere, though. Like, I've got everything that I need. Oh! Ship too heavy! I was in the ship! Does that have to do with it? Maybe I have the minimum weight set wrong. Because <laughs> that was funny. Um. Oh, crap. I actually have to get in it. So, this is one way to, um, to work with stuff. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just doing some maintenance on the, um, just doing some maintenance here. Okay, progress zero, fly to job, load zero, battery was at 80 or 98%. Run without argument, job is running. Does it show me what the min is? Configuration. I love how I'm just on here. Okay, here we go. Configure max load. Uh, it looks like 70 is on, so max load is like 70% of the total capacity or something, but then... I don't know how to check the weight thing. I'm wondering if it's because I was inside the ship and you're not supposed to be? But as you can see, it just kind of keeps going, and it'll just... it works in kind of a grid pattern. And then when it either fills up, runs out of charge, etc., and so on, it will basically come back to the base that you set when you set your home path. So it's pretty friggin' awesome. I think it's great. I just don't know if I can be in the ship, or if apparently my weight is too much, or if maybe just getting out of the ship did something that reset it. I don't know. 
Um, the ignore... The ignore part on the uranium was great if you're wanting to use a battery-based ship, though. But overall, it's pretty cool. Pretty excited about that, to be honest. Because now we can finally start breaking down some of these ships if we were to acquire them, and I don't have to be here 24-7. Now the other thing is I don't think I could use them at the same time because I kind of have that set to offload unless I wanted to set this one up to offload as well. Uh, but we could actually use the driller for the same thing if you wanted to do a mine or something. You could just have it drill or drill into that mountain or something, etc. Um... But yeah, so pretty good. Now, I'm going to try and kind of break this one down. And um, I'm thinking, I don't think we'll have time this episode. I didn't realize how much time I had to, I didn't expect that to take so long to get set up because it looked a lot easier to do that. But I had that little uranium incident, which was a little bit confusing. Um, but what I'm thinking... Ooh. Really? Seriously? I double tapped X. <sighs> Okay, well, that was annoying. Um, so, anywho, before I was so rudely interrupted, I do think what I'm going to end up doing, though, is um, probably going to break this part down over here. And I might end up having the... I don't think you can use it automated for welding. So I'll probably end up having to do the projection and welding and stuff myself. Um, for the fighter, but we'll probably build it in the next episode. So we got the design finally ironed out and we found a way to automate our drilling and our uh, ship grinding, which is great. So I'm happy about that. I'm super excited. It'll definitely improve. Wow. These rocket turrets were just going to town on that ship for some reason, which is really weird because... It is my grid. Like, it was something I owned. So I don't get what was going on with why it was freaking out all the time and trying to shoot that thing. I'm wondering if maybe it was when the, the file first loaded. Oh, wow. That's, that's all busted up. Um, I'm wondering if it's when the file first loaded that it hadn't quite gotten to the... Um, if it hadn't quite gotten to the flag where it says, you know, that's a friendly or something, I'm not sure. But it definitely was uh, hammering over this building area. There's scrap laying everywhere. Um, but anyways, I think that's probably going to do it for this episode. Um, I hope you all are enjoying the newer uh, New Year's schedule that I came up with. If not, or if so, do let me know. Um, I'm thinking next week... Oh wow, it really poked a hole in that too. Holy crap, it took out one of the modules. Good grief. Um, so anyways, uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'm planning next week we'll start the other schedule. So like this was the first week and I'm doing the alternating week thing. So next week should be the Inspiration series. I think I'm going to go with another episode of Ashen and maybe Empyreon and then the Space Engineers Let's Build. The reason being... Um, I'd like to do more Ashen at the moment. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I don't think I want to wait. And so if everybody liked the first episode, then I'll probably do another one. I'm holding off on Astroneer um, until February, when it actually hits full release. I think it's February 19th. Because um, I figured if, if I'm only doing episodes every other week, then I'm only going to get two to three episodes in before I hit mid-February, and then I would have to start a new world to probably make... Um, make use of the new update. So, um, the question is going to end up being if you guys would want to see, like, Ashen and a second episode of the Let's Play on Space Engineers instead of something like Empyreon, um, or if you would want to keep Ashen and then when Astroneer comes out, replace Empyreon, things like that. So let me know because uh, there was a little bit more wiggle room. I didn't have four extra games planned and I'm holding off on Astroneer for now anyway. So, um, or maybe Stationeers or something, but yeah, just let me know. Just let me know what you guys think. If I do Stationeers, I will probably start a new game.
because there's been a lot of updates to it. I forgot kind of about it, but if you'd like to see more Stationeers over Imperion or something, let me know. Um, I haven't started the recording for this uh, next week yet. I'll probably start on Monday, so if you're watching this on Monday, it's probably too late, but here nor there. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.